Uh, yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good way to rebound there. Um, you know, it's nice to get uh, you know back in the groove defensively. I guess and offensively too. So I mean, a lot of people were saying you guys aren't scoring as much. I was even scoring a lot. So um, I think that was good for our confidence, especially you know going where we're headed. What were you most happy with uh, this weekend? Um, we should, yeah, we should we won ten nothing in two games, so I mean um, I think there's a lot of positives you can take. Um, I can't really put my finger on one thing. I think offensively we did well. Defensively obviously we did well. Um, our penalty kill was a lot better. I mean I think we gave them a lot of shots but you know we kept the shots where we wanted to keep them. Um, I just think we did the we did pretty much the exactly what we wanted to, especially with our penalty kill. Our power play played well, so I mean uh, it was a good weekend. Um, I think we gotta expect more next weekend though, so uh, you know, we'll get back at it Monday. Wait, was the quality of shots, I mean, were the most about permanent shots, or was it that Kevin was making things look easy, too? Well, I mean, I, I obviously think that, you know, Regan played well, but I mean, a lot of it was perimeter, if you watch. I mean, we the way we had our penalty kill set up, we were giving them shots from certain areas, so I mean, a lot of it was that. I mean, they were throwing things at them. I mean, I, obviously, Regan played well, and he may obviously he didn't let him the goal all weekend, so, um, but I mean, I don't think the shots were very... Uh, indicative of the, you know, the game. I mean, I don't think that they outplayed us tonight. I don't think they outplayed us last night either, but I mean, you know, we're giving them certain things. And they, they clear rebounds better and stuff like that. Too, right? Yeah, I think we played tougher in front of them. That was, that was another like, big thing that I think that we stressed as well, was if we're going to give them those shots, then, you know, there can't be the second, third shots that, you know, teams have been getting. So, I mean, I think they were getting their initial shots, but I don't think any, it wasn't really much after that. What about now? Like you say, you get back at it Monday, and it doesn't matter who you play. No, I mean, we'll watch. I mean, you know, I mean, I don't really have a preference, you know what I mean? Um, I think, you know, the way things are going, I would probably expect to play, uh, you know, obviously Vermont, Maine, or Amherst. I mean, I'd probably say out of those three, I'd rather, you know, I, I'd like to see Maine get out of there. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to play them or just oh, it's not that I don't like them? I don't want to play them. It's not that I don't want to play them. I mean, obviously, I think that would be a really intense game, you know, playing Maine. It would be a great atmosphere. But at the same time, I, you know, wouldn't mind seeing them get knocked out. But, um, you know, I'm excited. You know, it's, a, it's just a fun time of year going down there. Um, you know, it's it's what we look forward to every year. So, um, you know, our, we're going to be excited about it. But, yeah, it's just getting back at it on Monday. Hopefully, you know, have a hard week of practice. And, uh, you know, I think we've been there. I haven't, I haven't missed a, a year there yet. So, I mean, I think we know what to expect. And, you know, I think we'll be ready for it. Uh, last year's game probably wasn't much fun. I mean, you we we'll no. discussed this week and stuff, Anchor. Yeah, I don't think that'll happen. In fact, I can almost guarantee you that's not going to happen this year. Um, we'll be ready to play, especially that. I mean, we'll be ready to play both games. We play both. Right. We'll definitely be ready to play that first game. I think last year it was it was a case where we we fought so hard to make the NCAA tournament, and you know we fought for probably the last five weeks of the season to make the NCAA tournament, and pretty much like right before that weekend, we pretty much knew we were in it. So I mean. I think it was a bit of a letdown because of that. I mean, I think this team has different goals in mind. Our goal hasn't been to make the NCAA tournament. Our goal wasn't to make it to Boston. Our goal was to win those things. So I don't think you're going to see um, a letdown like that this year. And do, do you think, I mean, how do you watch the stuff? I mean, what you said the other day, you haven't really paid much attention to the seeds, but you need to win another game, you think, to, to lock up another number one seed? Or? Um, I don't know, that's not really what I care about. Right? I mean, obviously, I mean, it would be nice to be number one seed. I'm not going to lie. It's been one of our goals as well. But, um, I want to win hockey, so I haven't won it yet. So um, I'm not really thinking about the pairwise when we're playing these games. That's probably the last thing in the back of my head. I mean, I'm thinking about I want to win that. I want to win hockey East this year. Like that's the bottom line. And so I mean, I think that's the way our team feels too. I mean, if we lose in the semis, if we lose in the finals, like we're gonna 25 people are gonna be unhappy on the way home. So um, that's what we want to do. And you know, we're la pairwise the last thing we're thinking about. Is this weekend especially? You know, satisfying because you won and you won with the same things that you've been winning with all year: balanced scoring, special teams, good defense. Yeah, I mean, it, it's nice to you know everyone says you want to be in a certain groove going into playoffs, and we weren't in that groove. I think now, you know, after this weekend, you know, maybe we can say we're you know getting in that direction. I don't think we're there yet. I think next weekend will be a little, we'll prove a little more if we're actually there. Um, but it's nice; it's a good confidence booster for a lot of guys. You know, we got a lot of people scoring this weekend, a lot of different lines contributing. So I think that'll you know help our confidence, and confidence is probably the biggest thing you need. The game, so thanks, Josh. Yeah.